I just wanted to put together this quick proof of concept demo showing a Barracuda Load Balancer 340 successfully being used to provide control PLCs the ability to fail over to a backup standby PLC when the PLCs themselves don't have a native ability to hand off their network connection parameters. So first off, why is this necessary? Because if you have multiple clients trying to access the primary PLC and it fails, what will the clients point to? If the secondary does not assume the failed PLC's network settings like IP address, then most clients cannot automatically change all their bindings and point to something else. That's supposed to be the PLC's job. For example, GE PLCs lack this basic functionality for some reason and would require this solution. Alright, so here we have some Schneider Electric smart meters programmed to simulate PLC registers. They are attached to a switch, which then feeds into a larger switch. In this case, it's supposed to be our fiber ring. And then the Barracuda hosts the virtual IP, which we then point our clients to. Let's see. You can see it's pointed to 100, but the meters themselves are 101 and 102 all right and actually I have two substations set up to see if one Barracuda can cover both pairs and it does no problem all right so let's see the failover All right, so this client was programmed to read some registers from each substation. Now it can only point to one IP for each sub, so we point it to the virtual IP. Again, here you can see the dot 100 for substation one, and the 106 for substation two. These are the virtual IP addresses. Alright, so then the load balancer will redirect us transparently to the active PLC. So let's see that happen. We're going to go over here and we're going to simulate a comms failure on the primary PLC by unplugging it. And then we're going to go back over here and see what happens. usually takes between 10 and 15 seconds. All right, there it went. We now switch over to the backup server. And now let's demonstrate it on the second substation. Again, we have the primary, which we will kill communications to by disconnecting its Ethernet connection. All right, there it goes. All right, so how was this accomplished? So if you log into the Barracuda, I was able to create two separate layer four TCP proxy services. And then I just mapped both PLCs as real servers. To each of those services. And then you have to designate one of the servers on each service as a backup server. And then the Barracuda checks the life of the two PLCs, not with ping, but better, by actually connecting to the hosting port socket using a TCP port check, in this case port 502. So it's not enough for just 
the thing to be pinging, the Modbus stack needs to be responding as well to be qualifying as functional. And one last thing I also wanted to point out was that despite Barracuda's documentation, even though this is a one-armed configuration, I still needed to use two ports. The rear management port IP address is the one used to read the real PLCs, but the virtual IP can only be hosted by using one of the front interfaces. So this thing really needs two connections. But good news everyone, this thing works. <laughs>